Hey y'all, I wanted to state that the creature, the picture I'm using is not the creature I'm really talking about in the story. I know it's a bloodfish, but this is what they're ascribing and what they're using. Because y'all know how it looks. And I don't really know what the the mud wob, wob what, however you say it. I don't really know nothing about it. But I'm going to use this picture for the video because that's what the... I found the story and let, let's go ahead and thank the the person who made this story let's thank them for the amazing story they made that cr the credit goes to them for writing the story just so you know I know it's not the creature I'm talking about it's just what we're using because that's what they're describing. Because the real, the way, the real animal, the mugwomp, womp, is not what they're, the, what they're describing. So that's why I'm using the picture I'm using. So that's so. Don't get confused when I show the picture. Thank y'all. Hey y'all, um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to tell you a story. And I know it's like, yes, it's my Thanksgiving story I was supposed to um, record and put out right after Thanksgiving. And I got busy with life and... Um, stuff so I could I didn't get it out so I apologize but I really want to tell y'all this story so I'm gonna tell y'all and I'm gonna put it out right after I get it editing and everything so here it goes it's called Fun Womp that came for Thanksgiving I hope I said it right okay I have the St. Carol and her dad, my grandfather, was diagnosed with cancer. And maybe since he was diagnosed with cancer, my aunt Carol would call everybody every once in a while and tell everybody how he was, but it would always, um, it would always turn in, um, all about her, how she was, woe her, woe me, woe, it always end up about her, and every holiday would, was always around about Grand Grandpa, um, sickness, but you know how it is. It always end up about her. So the holidays was always not so good. Finally, when Granddad died, there was a little relief. Thinking, finally we'll have a normal holiday. So we got, got to Aunt Carol's. And... Getting the kids situated, and it, and she came in and said, she came in and said, "Oh, y'all early, good, good, y'all early because I I needed to make sure everybody had their seating arrangement because I needed to sit by um, Clarence." That threw me off a bit because I don't have a cousin named Clarence. 
and I could tell she, she wanted me to ask questions, but I didn't. I went ahead and helped my wife um, sit on my kids, take their jackets off. When I walked into the dining room, there was a booster seat set up, and in that booster seat was a pink, wet, bloated creature, and I said, what the F is that? Forgetting that I'm supposed to wash my language around the kids. Oh, that's Clarence. I found him alone. And I took him in. And my wife, my wife, I don't, th why is he at the dinner ta table? That's not sanitary. I don't want him around the kids. She wouldn't let it go. Aunt Kayla didn't seem fades about it. So, oh, Clarence is special. And giggled. <laughs> and made some coo sounds at the, at the, the, the ugly thing. I almost threw up right then and there. I, I, I can't believe I made it through the dinner. So, we was all sitting around dinner. She didn't even make the dinner. I can tell you that. Her, her son, Kevin's girlfriend, made all the side dishes. Um... My Aunt Amy made the turkey. My wife made her famous green beans, bacon. My daughter, my oldest daughter made French bread. We wasn't even allowed to eat for, because Aunt Carol said Cletus needed to eat first. She brought out a baby food blender and started grabbing all the good pieces of all the food and sort of blended it up and that thing kept wheezing all through dinner my oldest she didn't look good so i gave her a cup of wine and told her it was okay and carol she started spoon feeding that thing mashed potatoes she told us that he don't have a potty hole, so I just put a diaper on f for public, um, for the public, something like that. Her words, not mine. Looked up with at my Uncle Bob, and he's carving the turkey with murder in his eyes, staring at it. And Aunt Amy made a mistake. She made a mistake glancing at it while I put a uh, shovel and some food in her mouth. She had to spit it out in the napkin. And the next thing you know, that that, that damn thing started choking on potatoes. And that was it. My youngest daughter threw up. Right in the floor. I'm surprised it took that long for somebody to throw up. And we, and I heard a burp beside me. And I forgot about my Otis. She had drunk four glasses of wine. And the next thing we know, uh, Aunt Carol, um, is taking her finger and wiping bacon off that, that damn thing's face and 
plopping it in her own mouth. Oh, God. I almost lost it there. Oh. And that's when she started trying to um, grind up the, the turkey gizzards. Of the, uh, so, that was it. Um, Amy went to the sink. Uncle Bob went outside. And that's when the kids and my wife and I ran to the bathroom. The girls shoved the toilet. And I spit up in the sink. And my wife yelled, F it. And started throwing up in the sink. And I spit up a little. But I composed myself. That... I was going to get through this. We had to come up with a plan and get rid of that thing. This. This was. This. This was. Uh, this was one of the worst. Thanksgivings ever. We can't. And there was no getting through to her. You could. We couldn't just go in there and tell her that. Her. And her tumor. Her pink tumor ch baby child was ruining the day. So, we cleaned up and we got all in the kitchen with everybody else. And I went back into the, the dining room to see what was going on. Because I was yelling and Kevin, her son, was glaring at her. And she... She was just there cooing at her, the the thing, laughing. And yeah, like she didn't hear Kevin yelling at him. He was yelling at her. This is why father left you. And that, like, he wasn't saying nothing. She was just giggling and praising the damn thing. Telling it was a good boy for burping. Because it made a burping sound. So I walked back into the kitchen. We had to do something. We had to separate them. And do something. So that's when. Kevin's girlfriend. Came up with a brilliant idea. So we cursed her through. And made the plan. And she came in there. And said. Oh Carol. Where's the whipped cream? We have two pumpkin pies ready to come out and feed everybody. And that got her attention. She's like, what? No. Two pumpkin pies is not going to feed this family. Oh, dear. She grabbed her purse and went out the door and went shopping. And we knew that the Buy us some time because her shopping always took about four hours. When we seen when we lost sight of her car, we grabbed some towels, grab that ugly pink thing, Clarence. You want to call it? We didn't want to touch it. Nobody wanted to touch it. That's why we put it. Grab a towel. We took it out of the backyard. First, we stomped on it. We stomped on it, and and it after a few minutes, it it puffed back up, and then we chopped it up with the axe. That's when we got to be killed. So we decided the heck with it. We're gonna we. Grabbed it up, took it back in the house, flopped it down. Amy took a towel, lit the eye on, turned the eye on, put the towel on the eye, and burned the house down. Yes, we burned our grandfather's house down. All the happy memories was gone already. It was ruined. So we sat there and watched the house burn. And by the time 
care got back. We told the police and the firemen that she was crazy, that there was no children inside. She tried to go back inside for her precious thing. But we told him that she was crazy. And you want to know that was, and you want to know what? That wasn't even the worst Thanksgiving ever. You're watching Myers Paranormal.